Hello, everyone. My name is Thomas Lesh, and I'm with Bonfire Audio. Today, I just want to show you a basic post audio mixing environment in Adobe Audition 2017. So, I mix audio for television and film, and this is my sort of go to basic setup. Now, every project's a little bit different in the way of how many elements it has and so forth, but nonetheless, on average, you're going to have some narration, you're going to have some dialogue, you're going to have sound effects and you're going to have music. Uh, if you don't have voiceover and narration, you'll definitely probably have dialogue, sound effects, and music. And so I've got what I can see up here is my mixing console, and I like that because I can see where everything's being routed. Um, I've got my VO routed to my narration track. I've got all my dialogue routed to my dialogue track. I've got all my effects routed to my effects track. And I've got my music routed to my music track. Here's a bonus tip. A quick indicator to know if you're working in mono or stereo tracks in Adobe Audition is this little sum to mono button that they have. If it's a stereo track, it's going to have that. If it's a mono track, it's not going to have that button. So there's other indicators, but that's a quick way of knowing at, at a glance. So again, in my mixing console, you can see how everything's set up and it's grouped up by those four or three main elements. And since I've got multiple dialogue tracks, I'm going to a bus. Since I've got multiple effects, to a bus, and so on and so forth. We can talk about buses and the importance of buses and sends in a later tutorial, but I just wanted to show you my basic mixing environment. So down here is the multi-track editor, and that is a linear fashion that allows you to uh, do quite a bit of editing capabilities. Audition is a very powerful program for editing all the clips in various ways. But this also allows you to see, in a linear fashion, how you're working with, in this case, my VO here up top. And then from down, I've got uh, dialogue. As you can see, as we scroll across, you start to get into some of the dialogue. And sound effects below that. And then down at the very bottom where I have my music bed. So here's a taste of a little bit of the narration on the project I'm working on right now. The world is littered with the decaying bodies of forgotten muscle cars. And let's take a little bit of sample of the sound effects that are going on in this particular project's mix. And then finally, let's listen to some music by itself. Okay, so there was a dipping going on there that allows for the narration to come in, but again, we'll talk about that in another tutorial. Here's what it all sounds like, just a little, uh, just a little bit. The world is littered with the decaying bodies of forgotten muscle cars. At Graveyard Cars, a restoration shop in Springfield, Oregon. So, thank you guys for watching this quick video. I just hope that it helps out because, again, it's important to have your sessions organized and understand uh, the core elements and where they would go and so on and so forth. If you have any questions, please certainly let me know. Subscribe to my channel. There'll be plenty more videos to come. And again, I'm Thomas Lesh with Bonfire Audio, hoping you have an awesome and blessed day.